Some employees of the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park are furloughed starting today. Both parks among the local businesses that are struggling financially due to the closures amid the COVID-19 pandemic. 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie breaks down some of the costs to continue caring for the animals. With the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park closed, the revenue from visitors has disappeared, but the cost to care for the animals and plants inside both facilities have not. You can't furlough a lion. And no one is coming to take their pictures here and pay admission to see the real ones. The costs of animal care don't change, even in the midst of a pandemic. The zoo has had to lay off some of its visitor services employees and other positions not related to animal or plant care. They have about 3,800 employees, some of whom are out of work as of today, while the zoo remains closed. A spokesperson told 10 News their people are like family. And they've decided for now not to disclose the exact number of furloughed workers. They confirmed that in 2018, the cost to care for the animals and exhibits was roughly $230 million. They took in about $250 million in admissions, memberships, food and merchandise sales that year. The homepage of the website now says your support is more critical now than ever. And on Friday, they launched a critical needs campaign. The CEO and president of San Diego Zoo Global says the organization is backing an effort by San Diego's congressional delegation to include zoos and aquariums in the next round of federal coronavirus aid. Those still working are doing so in staggered shifts, and they've been getting creative, they said, at finding ways to continue high standards of care while maintaining proper distancing. Mary McKenzie, 10 News.